If you're looking to create some really stunning AI generated artwork like these, or like these, or even like these in Mid Journey, I'm going to show you how to create them all with these 10 super simple Mid Journey prompts. Okay, so before we get started, you're going to need to get set up with a Discord account and a Mid Journey account. I've created a step by step video guide to getting started here. And stick around until the end of the video where I'm giving away a free downloadable printable guide and prompt sheet. And please do me a massive favor. If you find this video useful, could you please subscribe to the channel? It gives me a massive boost and it lets me know that I should still be creating content. So without any further ado, let's jump in. Prompt one, subject as subject. Mid Journey can use its AI to envision how objects or characters might look if they were transformed into something entirely different. Just provide some details about the original object or character and Mid Journey will create a unique and imaginative transformation. So let's start with Blue Whale as a jumbo jet airplane. And there we go. Next, we're going to try Gorilla as a space ape. And there's some great images there. Let's try for one more. Female model with cloud as hair. And there we go, just a matter of minutes. Prompt two, layered paper, subject or scene. Mid Journey offers an algorithm that can effortlessly give your designs an arts and crafts look mimicking layered paper shapes for a 3D effect. This feature can add depth and texture to your designs with just a few clicks. Let's see what we can do. Forward slash imagine layered paper polar bear on iceberg. And there we go. Forward slash imagine layered paper fashion model in a shop window. And finally, forward slash imagine layered paper floral pattern. And there you go. That's just amazing to me that it can just look so handmade. Let's move on to prompt three, isometric subject or scene. Thanks to its nifty algorithms, Mid Journey can create impressive isometric art with consistent 3D angles for all three axes without the need for advanced design skills. So let's try forward slash imagine isometric professional conversation between colleagues. Or forward slash imagine isometric laptop and tiny people neon glow. And finally, forward slash imagine isometric city. And there we go. Prompt four, knolling, subject or scene. Knolling is a photography technique that involves arranging objects on a flat surface and then photographing them from above. This technique creates visually striking compositions that showcase the objects in an organized and aesthetically pleasing way. So let's try these. Knolling DIY tools, ultra realistic. That's great. Let's have another go. Forward slash imagine, knolling, vacation suitcase. Some lovely images there. Okay, so let's have one last go. Forward slash imagine, knolling, sewing box. And there we are. We've got our knickknacks in a box photographed from above. Prompt number five, which is probably my favorite, is double exposure. So subject one, subject two, double exposure. Let me show you. Mid Journey is capable of creating some really effective double exposed images. This feature works best when combining portraits with scenes, resulting in unique and visually stunning compositions. So if you're ready, let's go. Forward slash imagine, stag deer, Scottish Highlands, double exposure. And there you go. That is really strong. Forward slash imagine, Rastafarian, Jamaican beach, double exposure. 
And that double exposure has got such a lovely feel to it. A really, really nice technique there. Let's have one more go. Forward slash imagine, homeless man, city, double exposure. And there you go. You've got three lots of images there, completely different from each other, all using that super simple double exposure technique. And it's just taken literally seconds to do. Prompt number six, subject or scene, naive art. With its advanced algorithms, Midjourney can produce vibrant and colourful naive art that captures the sense of wonder and joy associated with childhood. This feature is perfect for adding a playful and whimsical touch to your designs or personal projects. Okay, so let's see what this can do. Forward slash, autumn, red squirrel, naive art. And there you go, we've almost got like a folk art kind of feel to it. Let's have another go. Forward slash imagine, coastal town, naive art. And there you go, lovely, bright and whimsical. One last image. Forward slash imagine, kraken, attacking boat, naive art. And there we go, we've got a really vibrant, bright, stylized image. Prompt number seven, subject made out of material. Midjourney allows you to create unique and exciting objects, characters, and architectures using various materials. Its advanced algorithms make it easy to bring your ideas to life. So let's see how far we can push it. Let's try forward slash imagine winter coat made out of giant bubbles. And there you go. Madness. Let's have another go. This time we're going to make a car made out of fruit. And there we are. It's made a car out of fruit. Let's try one more. Forward slash imagine, an ultra modern home made out of grass. And there you go, we've got some modern architecture that's completely AI generated. Prompt number eight, backlight, subject or scene. You can create standout images with Midjourney by generating eye-catching artwork that looks like it's glowing under UV light. It's really easy. We just type forward slash imagine to get our prompt, and then backlight surfer with surfboard. And there we go, four unique images that look like they're jumping off the page. Let's have another go. Forward slash imagine, and the prompt is backlight, skull, fire, and dagger. And there we go, we've got an image that looks like it's just jumped straight out of the Goonies. And let's create a final backlight image. This time, forward slash imagine, Backlight Magic Mushroom. And there we go. Really trippy, really psychedelic. Okay, prompt number nine is another favorite of mine. Subject as stained glass window. Midjourney is a great tool to create stunning stained glass effect images, complete with intricate patterns and bold, vibrant colors that really pop. So let's see what we can get it to do. Let's try our first prompt here. Forward slash imagine. And the prompt is going to be farmyard animals as stained glass window. And we get exactly that. Okay, let's try for something a little bit more ornate. Let's go for forward slash imagine. And this time the prompt is gonna be peacock displaying feathers as stained glass window. And there you go, that is lush. There's some absolutely lovely colors in there and patterns and shapes, really, really effective. Let's try one more. This time we're gonna go for street gang as stained glass window. And there you go, we've got ourselves a bit of a scene, could be something for like a theater poster or something like that. Okay, prompt number 10, my final prompt is fashion mood board of subject, season, or scene. Midjourney makes it easy to create captivating fashion mood boards around a theme, season, or scene. So let's have a go. Forward slash imagine fashion mood board of architecture. And there we go, we've got images of buildings, shapes, structures and clothing. Let's have another go. This time, forward slash imagine, the prompt is gonna be fashion mood board of outer space. And again, it's provided images of astronauts and fashion sort of imagery, as well as colors and textures. And the last prompt, forward slash imagine, fashion mood board of the seaside. And there we go, a lovely collection of inspiring seaside images. So now you've got 10 mid-journey prompts to get yourself up and running in no time. 
And don't forget to download the free step-by-step -step tutorial and prompt guide in the description below. And if you found this video useful, then give it a like and consider subscribing for more Tuesday Tech Tips.